Hello everybody, my name is Stally111 and welcome to Sid Meier Civilization Beyond Earth. I have been hyped up for this game. My most played Steam game is Civ 5 and I'm certainly going to be playing a lot of this. This is my first impression, just going to be doing it first 15, maybe 20 minutes of this game. I'm going to start up a new save game in single player and I'm going to be doing something on my own. If loads of people want me to do more of this game, uh, tell me in the comments and also like uh, this video. And I'll continue on with this let's play if you will. Let's set up the game. Difficulty. We've got Sputnik, Mercury, Vo uh, Vostok, Germany, Soyuz maybe? Uh, Apollo. So I'm going to stick with Mercury because this is the first time I've played Beyond Earth. And uh, I'm going to keep it standard map size. Let's keep it... Let's go over standard actually. Um, keep, I'm doing Mercury. Oh, I'm not going to Sputnik. Like, I'm doing Mercury because that was the first time I played Civ 5 I did it on the normal uh, the easy difficulty, not normal. Oh, this actually is normal. Normal. Moderate. Right, keep on normal. Um, right, designated sponsor, ARC. Uh, faster. Intrigue. Free technology, every 10 virtues. Right, I don't know much. But I have done a video on this before, why it'll be awesome. Some things I had to research on that. So I know what intrigue is, but I don't know what virtues are. I don't think so, unless it's actual legitimate, eh, like proper real life virtues, it's not something else. Um, I don't know. Uh, let's go with. Production is always good for keeping. I think that'll be good. A good uh, designated sponsor for uh, online play. Ooh. Right, let's go with African Union. All right, next. Colonists, scientists, refugees, aristocrats, engineers, or artists. Let's go with refugees. We're going to be a growing population. Spacecraft, continental survivor, reveal coasts on maps. Uh, rene uh, retrograde thrusters, wider area. And, uh, tectonic scanner. No technologies needed to see petroleum. I don't know what that is. I think that's just geothermal and titanium resources. Fusion reactor. I think this one could be useful. Petroleum will probably come in handy. So let's go with the tectonic scanner. Cargo. Hydroponics. Extra population. Laboratory. Pioneer. Technology. Raw materials. Yeah, that could be useful. Soldier unit. Worker unit, I think. Machinery. And last one. Choose planet. Rescan for planets. Few large land masses separated by oceans. Um, I'm not sure. Do you want, yeah, let's go for a random world. Wait, wait. Hmm. Maybe we should go with the islands. Maybe not. No, let's go with this one. Some smaller islands. Maybe we'll jump into a smaller island. Let's start. Oh, advanced setup. Who are we going to have? Now we'll just leave that. Temperature, temperate. This is a lot more in depth than. Add AI player. Nah, nah, nah. We'll, we'll keep it eight players. Let's just jump in. Start game. So. Welcome to Beyond the Earth. So uh, we all know Civilization has a long loading times when starting new games. So we'll try and keep you interested and maybe extend it a little bit. But you're going to see some gameplay today of Beyond the Earth. See what differences we've got some from Civilization 5, which, um, as I've told you before, is one of my most played games. Um, well, it is my most played game on Steam. Shortly followed by Fallout New Vegas, which I just used for mods on that, I played loads more on um, Xbox. But uh, Beyond Earth does look pretty cool. 
if you want me to continue this, this is just a first impressions or a first part of a walkthrough if I'd end up doing a walkthrough or let's play or whatever, um, please do tell me in the comments below, tell me if you want me to do more videos on Beyond Earth, maybe random videos or do some multiplayer stuff with some of my buds. Oh, here we go, here we go. Hello, I am the Advanced Integration and Simulation Resource, or Advisor. I am equipped to introduce you to the basic systems that will guide your development on this new planet. Additionally, I can provide strategic advice based on situations you encounter. How would you like me to proceed? Uh, you should be on Earth and advice only. Select a suitable location for our people to make planet for. This will be the site of our first great city. Select a plot within the red border to land. I think this is a good spot. Jumping down, landing. There we go. But yeah, tell me in the comments if you want me to continue and do a proper let's play or whatever. Megan, we're gonna rename that. Hello, right. A nice bit of Stallyville. Stallyville. Ah, oh, Stalliton. 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 Except, right, um, return to map. So, this is our explorer, this is our worker. Um, set up a, a mine. Good, good, good. Explorer. Got some cracks and crevices up here. What's this? Is this a resource that we've found? That's gonna be pretty good. Choose research. There, the this tech web is provides a bird's web. eye view of the technologies that may be discovered and how they are connected. Technologies come in two types, branches and leaves. Branches represent broader technological ideas and cost less research. Leaves are more specific and are more expensive. Right. 32 turns, bloody hell. Now we don't need that one just yet anyway. Because we've got petroleum, titanium, we don't need that. What's this? Hope clear. This could. Our aliens cannot come to this. Come to us. Right, thank you. Thank you. Don't care. Select a suitable location for our people to make planet for. This will be the site of our first. Great I've already done city. this. Select right, a how'd I get out of this? the red border to land. There we go. It's just escape. Stalliton has your first resource um, resource pod discovered. That's that. So it's a resource pod. Vectory is updated. Is that Vectory? I may be able to assist you. Um, no thanks. Right. Let's go Select production. a suitable location for our people to make planet for. We've already bloody done that. Jeez. Right. Old Earth relic. No thank you. Get a clinic in here. Fifth. Dean turns. Jeez, oh. Uh, new victories. Five victories. Nice. Well, it's just the next turn. Resource pods were sent ahead of our journey and contain valuable materials from old Earth. Send a unit onto the resource pod to see what it contains. You will go there. Oh, look. Inside the resource pond, you found a cache of laboratory equipment from Old Earth, made with precision techniques that are difficult to replicate on this planet. The equipment is eagerly welcomed by your scientists, providing 19 research. Whoop, whoop, whoop. 19 research you can continue on exploring. You are still doing that. And uh, what have we got here? Quest updated. Research pod, bingo. Gifts from home. Right, next turn. Right, we're in 2000 and, uh, 2600, so plenty of time until we're getting to this stage. But um, I can see people in that day and age if uh, the world still exists as human, you know, humans may destroy it with uh, nuclear winters or whatever. So hopefully not. Um, a chance is this, right. um, but they may see, play this game and think this is a piece of crap. It's over. It's nearly 600 years old, but still, it's a classic, and um, 
we're way beyond this, silly game developers. Inside this resource pod, you found a collection of goods and luxuries from old earth that your people never thought they would see again. These rally and refocus your people, providing 10, uh, 25, why did I say 10? 25 culture. That's pretty cool. Don't know what this is, but it's some sort of hovering rock, which looks pretty epic. <gasps> oh no, alien wolf beetle. Alien wolf beetle. Please don't hurt us. A virtue. So this is basically the uh, the virtue screen allows you to choose the virtues that will shape your civilization. You spin your accumulated culture to acquire them. The deeper you go in each row or column, the more bonuses you will earn. Let's go with the prosperity. Yes. Yeah. Let's do that. That could be helpful. As I said, we are growing. We're growing. We're at two population. So that's, I, I don't even know, um, I can't remember what the ratio is, how many it is, I'm not sure if it's 2 million, or 2,000, or 200,000, how long is this going to bloody take? Alright, mm. Stalyton has grown, it's next turn, hopefully these, oh there's more of them, what's this, oh this is our, Enemy, maybe, possibly. Fan Ya Hezu, Guang Zong Yao Zu. Hello, goodbye. Right, so we've got another opponent for land, as well as these bloody alien wolf beetles. Piss off! Don't want to fight. Right, keep on exploring. One of our units has walked into a cloud of strange alien miasma. This miasma is toxic and will damage our units and equipment if they... Okay, that's enough from you. Next turn. Oh god, they're attacking. Your explorer has noticed something strange nearby. It could be a ruin, some sort of wreckage, or perhaps yeah. alien in nature. You should order your explorer to the site and excavate it to see if they... Right, let's excavate this, and that is a dead alien thing. Right, what have we got here? Fire! That's a lot more epic in the early stage of the game than freaking arrows. <sighs> right, kill them. Kill them with I rockets or. That needs your right. Here. Excavate expedition. And you guys. Oh, I can't. Still bloody seven turns until things done. Next turn. I am having some fun with this game. Ma, oh, I, I I paid thirty bloody pounds. I mean, it's a lot cheaper than new games are generally, but let's try and get some food. We should probably get another worker, but actually, I think the best option would definitely be a uh, would be a uh, um, military unit. Quest updated. Right, quest decision. When we came from taking to the la, 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 la. when we came to this planet, we brought a number of plants from old Earth. Somehow, one of these plants has taken root outside of Stalaton and turned inva turned invasive. If left unchecked, it could convert the local environment into a more Earth-like ecosystem. Whether or not that is a good thing must be decided. Um. Harmony. Contain outbreak. Mm. Let's keep it like uh, we're pro human. Right, so we got more culture. 
We're we're taking over this this planet, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, eight more turns until we got genetics. So aliens cannot attack our city. The invasive plant has begun to spread, eliminating other resources from the surrounding land. However, the species has shown to be a great potential crop as it grows faster and larger than it ever did on old earth. Our scientists believe that through low level genetic modification, which we are getting right now, genetics, the plant could be made to serve as either food or energy. We must, we simply must decide which is more beneficial, food crop, of course, food. Next turn. Your explorer has discovered something wonderful. There are many more sites like this to investigate around the world, so you might want to consider building additional explorers to send to these locations. Right, so let's go to this one. Oh no! Alien Manticore. Ah, shite. Ah. Free affinity level. Ooh. Um. Wait, you can only do one. Ah. Oh. Right, purity. Upgrade available. Soldier to Pardon Marine. Me. I may be able to assist you. No, you can. Don't be funny. One perk. What's this one do? Ten. Let's get this one. Mark two, we have an achievement. This be action, that is, that's weird. Where? Got two guys right there, okay. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Right, next turn. Please don't hurt your explorer. I'll run away, so you can't excavate that area. Run away. Uh, right, so. Seriously, that close? Well, it is a medium map, so. I think it was medium. Hello. Sputnik, Slavianska Federacja pozdrawia Tibia. Slavic Federation. So, are you Russian or are you just Eastern European? Meh. Either way, you're welcome in this. We are humans, we band together, we kill the aliens. Hopefully, unless they want to kill you guys. I'm happy, as long as I am God thing. Person, leader of this planet. Anyway, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. We are in 2613 AD. And, um, continue exploring up there. Resource pot inside this resource construction pod. on a unit Youth. which can launch into orbit. Shh. To launch it, Shh. select the unit and click its action button. Uh, a basic satellite still intact and enough rocket fuel for it to reach escape velocity. A free solar collector is now ready for launch in the city of Staliton. Whoop whoop! Right, close that. You Move go to war with the soldiers you have. Make sure those are the soldiers you want. Oh, they will be. We're gonna make soldiers so good that everyone's gonna be jelly. Oh yeah. So thanks very much for watching. Please drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe, and do your thing if you've not done so already. And um, we've got a solar collector. Who is? Can you move? No, you can't. You have to stay there. Uh, we'll launch it maybe next episode. So make sure to drop a like and a comment saying you're awesome, I'm awesome, being you. Someone's at my door, but I gotta go. So thank you very much, Roshan, and um, tell me if you want more. Peace. See ya.